Do you believe for a second that Kyle Richards is dating that lesbian country version of Lil Wayne? <laughs> First of all, you're on the show. Okay. <laughs> Ding dong. You're on the show. Nobody's forcing you on the show. Nobody pushed you in the show. Well, this you're is like Je- this is like Jenna Lyons, who I'm obsessed with. I know you guys didn't watch the new Roni. No, yeah. I feel like you should just to. I'm dying to know what you make of Jenna Lyons in this environment. <laughs> um, but okay, continue because Jenna Lyons is Carol. Like they're the same. Oh, oh, we're not going to be able to well, do that. It, but I do like looking at what she wears. I could probably watch it on mute. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Because Jenna Lyons wasn't a BravoCon, right? And mm-hmm. so. But that seems like exactly like something Carol would do. Like Carol that would just would be never so go beneath to BravoCon. Her. Yeah, it would be beneath her. Now I understand BravoCon being beneath anyone. I, think I, that I they... wonder if the Bravo people are also over it because the fandom is very entitled. So I think there is a thing where enough. It's just it is what it is. I'm not, uh, you know, but just from what I saw and experienced it, it's um, they do feel. I I think that it's really hard when there's so when a mob of people come at you and I'm just assuming like for Teresa or these people who are like the Beatles there, you know, we walked by, uh, an entrance when, um, what the hell's Taylor Armstrong Armstrong walked in and it was just like, like a horde of people went insane. And so now you let those hordes of people go without any, with only nothing but access to you. They, they really feel like they can, relentlessly like be on you like <laughs> uh, and so i think unlike did you, other what were, i know you performed in heather's show did you were you did you go to any panels yeah we went we went on sunday which was going to be like a ton less people um and we went to the main we went to literally the only two we went to the only good panel the entire time which was the which was the <laughs> the new jersey one Mm. What that was the one that got any news and literally in in the VIP asking people we knew they're like wanted us to stay in the VIP and we're like no including I mean we were like we're going to go to this panel and literally even the the Bravo fans in the VIP who were lurking on us wouldn't even sit through a panel to even <laughs> sit by us they're like this oh no no the panels are done we're, done. we're not doing it <laughs> we're done. they wouldn't even step foot in it everyone was on their phone they were half empty and um, you know and it and it they were dumb. You know, we were excited because it was our first one we've ever yeah. done ever. Right. And, but I would think if it were me and I I was there and I was on a housewife show, I would a hundred percent make my storyline at BravoCon so mm-hmm. that I won't have anything real. I could be in a fight with someone on my cast all season just simply because I said something bad about their husband and be like, I'm gonna live on this all season <laughs> and it's gonna be great. I'm not gonna have to do shit. Yeah, I just nobody's going to be lurking, looking for drugs in my medicine cabinet. (laughs) Yeah, I just think they were like all on their best behavior. Yeah, because they could because they saw what happened with Erica and whatever. And they're like, I don't want that. Like, because then they're going to get like all this hate from the fans, from the other housewives fans infecting their social media. Yeah, they're going to be. That's that's what I think is why. Yeah. The fandom is toxic. I mean, it just is. It is, you know, and. It's just like saying, Paul, it, if anybody takes that personally, they can just bug off. It's like that's like saying politics, you know, is yeah. toxic. It is, yeah. you know, it, people take personally. Like if you ask about Bethany, like, what do you think of Bethany? Oh, I like Bethany. You what? You fucking like Bethany? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like it becomes like a thing where now I have to hate you because you like the one housewife I like or whatever. It's 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 people are, you know. And they're also super entitled. We we were we walked into the venue with Heather to do the show, and one of her fans got somehow. We were with three security guards, four people, us plus Heather, her son. This woman somehow snuck through everyone, got to the front of the line with Heather's like. I snuck in. I'm sorry. You got in the room. Um, I, I snuck in. Okay. I just, um, I need to have a selfie. Um, okay. I need to have a selfie. Okay. 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 I, the, everyone looked around like, is this bitch fucking, this is fucking happening? Security didn't do anything. Nobody did anything. And then, so it was like, okay, I guess we're all going to go ahead and take a selfie then. <laughs> and I just thought, that's it. That's it. Right there. She is every single person here. For good or for bad or for ugly or for warts and all and everything else, 
that is who every single fan has become. And I get its love. I get its admiration. But that is some serious entitlement and some crazy boundary crossing. Do you believe for a second that Kyle Richards is dating that lesbian country version of Lil Wayne? (laughs) I mean, we haven't honestly like looked into it enough because we don't again, we don't follow social media. Um, We obviously know the, the whole thing, but we I haven't done the kind of you know, investigation that I could do where I could give you a definitive answer. Literally, I could be like this. I've looked into it and yes <laughs> or no. I literally could find out if I put if I put any. The thing is that I'm far more interested in Kyle than I am in that at being a lesbian lurker. I don't like that one. I think it's I don't know if it's because she has her lips injected. I'm not feeling her at all, like at all. Obviously, we're of two minds or I'm of two minds. One, it's possible that she's having a lesbian friendship with somebody and they're being titillating and whatever. And, you know, it is possible for a straight woman and a lesbian to be friends without having sex. So that is a possibility. And but on the other hand, they're really trying it. But they're they're acting like they're having sex, then are they? Right. Kyle has turned into like top tier thirst bucket. You know right. what I mean? Top tier. I mean, you know, she can't help it. It's like they got Dorit and then Dorit, you if, know, what if can nothing do? else, they are gay baiting. I mean, at the mm-hmm. end of the day, they are gay baiting. So whether or not they are or they aren't, they are trying it with that. They want us to think they are. They want us to talk about it. The lesbian knows what she's doing. Kyle's into it. She wants to it's be just, looked at as a sexual thing. It's strange. So it's, it's strange to me that the story is Kyle DM'd this girl. Like, Why? Like, I know I agree. What, what do we need to talk about? Like the tattoos. She's like, isn't she like 20? So like, I mean, I don't know how old she is, but like, I'm guessing she's like half Kyle's age. I'm just like, I guess Kyle's some closet country music fan. <laughs> maybe and that's got it. All, I mean, you know, it's like maybe maybe what we're missing because we don't we're not closet country music fans is like Kyle is having the the Shane. If I had not seen oh. Shane on the real L word, I would not have become friends with julie like it's just you know I'm exactly like shane it, it's <laughs> it's it was a thing that that like opened up a uh a, like a thing in me and you know and i didn't watch all of the real l word i literally was i think like, it's so funny that you're saying the real l word but it's just the, the l, l word, word. <laughs> sorry the l word i didn't watch it at all i only saw like i was way late to the party i saw like one like scene with her standing in front of my tv in my bedroom like showtime was on or something and i was like that what is on or was it on hbo showtime. showtime and i was like huh and i just stood there and watched it and i was like jesus and then it was like up it was like it might have been the finale it was like up against a. it wasn't with the main girl who i knew the girl that shane was with um sarah her name's sarah in real life doesn't matter um oh sarah you mean sarah shahi yeah like okay. i know her mm. so um from acting class um she she was up against like a balcony like a a railing Uh uh-huh and she had this girl up against a railing and i was like whoa and so then i was like i'm just gonna keep on watching this show like from here this point on and i met julie like shortly thereafter and it definitely just was like a thing of like oh yeah like i was always this is does no one asked but in general like in la i was always like a lesbian lurker like i'd be like in like in the club if i would go to tons of clubs and like hollywood parties and there'd always be like a girl who was in like a fucking t-shirt like a ripped t-shirt and like like she didn't give a shit and i'd be obsessed because i'm like with my hair and makeup and in heels and i'd be only want to be around the girl in the ripped t-shirt who's in the corner who doesn't care and is too too good for everyone and she wanted you to be around you too that's what's funny. <laughs> so I think that Kyle <laughs> liked, you know, maybe that was her, her thing. She obviously grew up in L.A. She's, you know, no stranger to to lesbians. Yeah. And she but she likes country music and she came across this girl and she got. She was clearly having a thing with tattoos, too, because even on the show, she's like, like my tattoos and my tattoos. So she had a mm-hmm. that girl clicked all that checked all the boxes, maybe for her, whatever she was going through. She got tattoos. She can like safely 
dip a toe. We don't know what they're doing, right. but safely <laughs> feel her sexuality. I think that Kyle has been, a lot. She has been with a woman before. I 100 percent. It seems she's, like it. She's a freak in the sheets. I think her and Mauricio have done threesomes 100 mm. mm. percent. She t- mentioned on like the last episode watching porn with him. Um, you know, that story from Girls Trip where she sat on his lap at the dinner, the cock, right. you know, the yeah, black tie right, dinner. Right. She's a freak in the sheets and she definitely has been with a woman before. So I don't. That's a good I, point. I don't really know. I just. It's not that I don't think that they're not doing it. I just feel like. I just I'm not convinced. Are you? I do not think they are. Yeah, no. I, that's funny that you think that she's been with a woman. That has like never crossed my mind. And all I think about is how everybody's gay. Like I'm one of those people who thinks everybody <laughs> is gay. And uh, I don't think never, she's gay. But you I know definitely what I, don't think she's gay. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Never. And like I have a really like I'm never wrong about this shit. So like maybe. I think she, I she's, she's, she's been that person that has been looked at very uh she's gotten a lot of sex i think you know you get with the girl and then every man's giving you sexual attention i think she's done mm-hmm. that trope she's done that chestnut i think she's done it with Maurizio. i think it's paid off for her in the past and i think she's using that now and she is getting a lot of attention and she is getting attention from Maurizio, and she is getting attention from men mm-hmm. and i think she's now she's leaning in and continuing because it's all selfies it's all the all of the traps of the thirst bucket. You know what I mean? It's the thirst traps. And she's and she's getting whatever comments underneath and she's continuing to like... And it's a safe way, right? When especially if her and Maritza are going through that. No one loves using lesbians more than when you can use them for this particular thing. She's getting looked at. She's getting to feel her sexuality. She's getting to feel great. She's getting to stick it to Maurizio. She's getting to have everyone talk about it and be the get the thirst. But without like it's not as salacious as if she was doing that with a man because people. The you know other I mean? men wouldn't be interested, but now she's doing it with a woman. Right. And other men are interested. Right. I'm sure. So, there you go. I guess it sho- it shocks me that she's been able to maintain the protagonist of this show throughout every, nearly every single season. That's what I'm more focused on. Like, wow, like, where did she come up with? I I, I think she's very calculating. And like, I think she's a good actress. I think she's a good actress. And yeah, I, that's more where I'm, yeah, my mind that's goes. That's why I don't think, I don't think it's that. real either. It's, I think it's a calculated move, but I think it's to get, um Maurizio's attention and and to get sexual attention I do 